Howdy folks, welcome to CS128 Honors. Uh, in this video, we're gonna introduce ourselves, go over the course and some of its goals, and then finally uh, tell you guys how to sign up for it. So my name is Neil. I'm a junior studying computer science here at the University of Illinois. I am super interested in systems programming and how CS and education sort of play in together. Um, I'm a huge soccer fan, I support Chelsea FC. So if you're a huge soccer fan or want to talk about the Premier League, come talk to me. Uh, I'm also really, really interested in food and coffee science. Hey guys, my name's Rule Verma. I'm a sophomore graduating in 2024, also studying computer science. Uh, my interests are mostly in blockchain, so I do a lot of zero knowledge and cryptography stuff. I am a massive fan of chess and I follow esports pretty religiously. So if you ever want to talk about either of those things, come hit me up. So what is this course? Uh, as the name suggests, we're the honors add-on for CS128, the second course in the CS curriculum. So we follow the CS128 course through the lens of the Rust programming language. So while CS128 teaches you about certain concepts in C++, we'll be mirroring those lectures with Rust. And this course is fully student run. So both Arul and myself are undergrads, our entire course staff and CAs are also all undergrads. And so we have a large focus on the course community and sort of learning new things together every day. So uh, this course has a group-based final project at the end of the course, which is a chance for you to apply all the rust you've learned in the first eight weeks of the course to nearly anything you want. We've had some amazing final projects uh, in the past uh, two years that this course has been running. So this is a great chance to create a really cool final project and add something great to your resume. So let's talk a little bit about Rust. So what is Rust? Rust is a programming language, and for seven years running now, Rust has taken Stack Overflow's top, top spot as the most loved programming language, with 87% of developers saying they want to continue using it. It's also growing in popularity as the leading language for networking. So it's a really cool language, and most people who take this course find that it's very engaging and they want to continue using it because it's very applicable in industry, and it really lets you create interesting projects and do really interesting things. And you'll find that a lot of your classmates will also be very talented, very skilled, and you can create some very interesting projects out of Rust for your final project. So this course has four major components. So lectures, homeworks, machine problems, or MPs, and the final project at the end. So um, for the first uh, eight weeks, we'll be releasing lectures on sort of the basic syntax of Rust, how it works, and then ownership and borrowing, which is Rust's memory management system. And then we'll sort of move on to threads and parallelism, give you a quick look ahead at some system programming concepts. And once we pass spring break, uh, when you start on the final projects, we'll be releasing these sort of special topics lectures that will give you an idea of these more advanced concepts in Rust and um, will help you out future uh, in the future in your career when you come upon these. So alongside your lectures, you're also going to be getting weekly homeworks. Generally, these are one to two per week, and they only last the first half of the semester when we're doing lectures. These are going to be entirely in Prairie Learn, and they're really just meant to supplement lecture content. So not meant to be too difficult, only around one to two hours per week. We also release four machine problems throughout the course of the semester. So these are more involved assignments that will take one to two hours to complete, also on Prairie Learn. Um, two of these MPs implement popular algorithms, so we'll describe the algorithm, tell you how to implement it, and you'll do so in Rust. So this is the k-nearest neighbors algorithm and uh, Google's MapReduce. Two of the MPs are some like simple applications. So the very first MP is a terminal calculator, and the third MP is a hangman game in your terminal. So finally, we end the course with our final project. Our final project is a six week long group project. It's in groups of two to four people and you're allowed to do whatever you want. You submit it through GitHub and you work with the TA to come up with your ideas. So they're entirely unique and we often get some very unique, very interesting projects that are very individual and, are the, play and the people in the group. We grade purely on functionality style and code base quality. So we're really looking for creativity to come out in, our, in these projects. So feel free to do whatever you want and whatever you find interesting. So this is the basic timeline of the course. Um, you're here at this first week of the semester. 
we'll start releasing lectures, weekly homeworks, and MPs in the second week. Um, and then you can see the uh, lectures sort of taper off right around when spring break hits. So when spring break hits, you, uh, everyone will start working on final projects and we'll be releasing these more special topics lectures, um, but all weekly homework assignments and MPs will stop. So all of our course related communication will be taking place on Discord. The course staff also holds office hours for two hours a day, every day of the week, and we'll also be holding weekly group study sessions. None of these hours are totally finalized yet, so make sure to join our Discord for more information, and we'll get back to you on when you can meet up with us in office hours or have these group study sessions. Okay, so uh, how do you sign up? Well, it depends whether you are a James Scholar or not. So if you are a James Scholar, um, you should submit your HCLA with Professor Nowak as the instructor. More on this on the next slide. You do not have to register for the honors course in self-service, but you do have to be registered in the regular CS128 class. If you are not a James Scholar, um, feel free to sign up for the course in self-service. Uh, you can look up CS199 section 128. Uh, the CRN is below on the slide. Um, please sign up for the course in self-service if you are not a James Scholar to get credit for doing all the work. So if you are a James Scholar, instead of doing the self-service method, you want to be using the HCLA sign-up, make sure you don't register for the course in self-service, and you're registered for CS128 in your self-service, and then you fill out the HCLA form on the online portal for James Scholars. Of the relevant sections of the form, you want to be filling out, for the term, you want to put spring of 2023. The course for honors credit is CS128. Your professor would be Professor Novak, with the email given here. And for special work to be completed, make sure you write in satisfactory completion of CS199-128. So to start participating in the course, fill out our onboarding Google form. Um, the link is in the description of this video. It should also be posted on the CS128 website. This is a sort of checklist to get you onto all of the sort of resources you'll need for the rest of the course. So that's our course website, uh, our course discord, the um, you know, the YouTube channel, everything you need has, there's links there and the Google form will walk you through everything you, you need to do to sort of get yourself set up. Thanks everyone. I look forward to seeing you guys in the course.